So euphoniums, we're going to talk a little bit about the parts of the instrument. These are the main parts. There's a lot of other smaller things that we're going to look at later, but main parts of your instrument, just looking at your case, okay? So this is your bell. It's a big conical shaped bell looking thing over here, okay? So you have the bell. Turn it sideways. I don't want you to do this, but you can be looking at your case, okay, and pointing to these different things. So then you have the mouthpiece receiver. This is where your mouthpiece goes into. Okay, there's a little hole, and that's connected to the lead pipe. Lead pipe leads the air into the instrument. You kind of remember like that, okay? Lead pipe leads the air in. So your lead pipe is connected to your first valve casing, okay? So your first valve is here. The way you can tell it's the first valve, it's going to be the closest valve to the lead pipe, okay? Lead pipe's always going to be connected to the first valve. So the closest one to your face or the closest one to the lead pipe. So first valve's here. Then they go not numerically this way. So first valve, second valve is here, third valve. Most of you will probably have three valves. Some of you may have a fourth valve. This is the fourth one, okay? We won't talk too much about that one yet. So first valve, second valve, third valve, fourth valve. Now, each valve has a corresponding slide that's adjustable. So first valve is connected to the first valve slide, okay? And the valve slide is connected to this casing. These are the valve casings, and they can slide out and they're kind of movable, okay? So first valve is connected to the first valve slide. Second valve is connected to the second valve slide, which is this little one, it may have a ring on it. Third valve is connected to the third valve slide, which is the biggest one, it's way down here, okay? So third valve, third valve slide, okay? And then like I said, some of you may have a fourth valve, that one's a little different, so here's your fourth valve. Fourth valve slide is on the back, this long one right here, okay? So. If you do have four valves, don't get it confused with the main tuning slide, which we're about to talk about. Four valves in the back. Main tuning slide is usually the biggest slide you have, okay? It's kind of thicker, and it's kind of in the front here, and it usually has this water valve connected to it, okay? So, main tuning slide is the big one here. It's a little stuck, but, you know, that's the way it goes. So, main tuning slide, and then this is your water key, okay? And you can open it to kind of let the condensation out. Um, that builds up in your instrument. We'll talk more about that later. So, that's pretty much all the main parts of your instrument. Let's review them real quick. Bell, okay. Mouthpiece receiver, where the mouthpiece goes in, connected to the lead pipe. Lead pipe's connected to the first valve slide, or sorry, dang it, the first valve, okay. Then second valve, third valve, fourth valve, okay. And the first valve slide is connected to the first valve. Second valve slide connected to the second valve. Third valve slide connected to the third valve. Fourth valve slides on the back, and this is the main tuning slide, the big one, okay? And the water key down here. And those are pretty much all the main components to your euphonium.